Is President Lyndon Baines Johnson a hero? A debate has broken out over the movie Selma about whether or not President Lyndon Baines Johnson came up with the idea for the Civil Rights March on Selma and whether or not Johnson was a hero for pushing civil rights legislation through Congress, particularly the 1964 Voting Rights Act that has been gutted in recent years by a conservative United States Supreme Court. I suppose a hero is in the eye of the beholder, but what seems most perplexing are those who proclaim Johnson to be both a racist and a hero. It is oxymoronic to proclaim a well-documented racist to be a hero simply because he was forced to pass legislation by those who sought that legislation. Furthermore, however impressive it was for Johnson to get racists in Congress to support the legislation, it is still wrong, in my opinion, to attribute hero status to him for that accomplishment. Nazi and Japanese doctors conducting human experiments on their victims made accomplishments in medical science, but would it be correct to call them heroes? J. Marion Sims, who lived during the 1800s, is known as the father of gynecology for his approaches to treating the diseases of women. However, Sims made his discoveries experimenting on enslaved African women, often without anything to numb the pain. It is possible to acknowledge a person's accomplishments and discoveries without attributing hero status to them. I believe a society that assigns hero statuses to racists, bigots, and others with serious moral failings is a society that has its own moral failings. Let us stop celebrating racists, shall we? This is Scotty Reed of the Black Talk Radio Network. Join me every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern on the Black Talk Radio Live Drive at 5 at blacktalkradionetwork.com.